Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of City Skylines. We are going to continue with what we left off in the previous episode and that is the new district. In the beginning I'm gonna start by actually naming the district and the park. As for the district, you can see all your suggestions on the screen right now. It's incredible as usual. Thanks so much for all the good suggestions. The one I like the, the most for this one is actually Neptune Falls. Love it. As for the unfinished park here, a viewer told me that their dog died, unfortunately, which is a very sad thing. The dog was called Poppy, so we're gonna call this Poppy Park. So we have something to remember her by. Another thing we want to fix right away, this interchange here is only an in and not an out. But the thing is, it's very ugly anyways, I want to change this. What we want to have here is a nice six lane road and then we're gonna swap to four lanes. We're gonna go into both directions but in a straight manner. Yeah, something like this for now is gonna do the trick. I also want to move this building over just so that we can add a piece of road on the other side. Gonna connect this like so and everyone should be happy. Looks better, it's now more functional too. Another slight problem you made me aware of is the way we have this commercial district laid out. A lot of the cars are likely to use pathways and roads I don't want them to use. And I was just wondering, couldn't we attach another exit like so? This could be a one way actually. Yeah, let's do this one way. So at least people from this roundabout still have the opportunity to go into the commercial district. Uh, yeah, looks like they had some fun in the Gappy Reserve. <laughs> oh, jeez. You know, another thing I'm still waiting for is to reach level 5 with Triggered Heights University. The highest we have reached is 3 stars, I believe. The reason Triggered Heights University isn't upgrading anymore and also Edumacation Grind has downgraded is because we don't have enough people. Neptune Falls District is hopefully gonna change that. Right now, we probably don't have a lot of upgraded buildings. Yeah, that's gonna take a while, especially with this area. In terms of services, I think we are golden. However, what we still could set up is a bus route. By the way, that's something I'm gonna do in this episode as well. While we wait, we're actually gonna take one of our tour buses and kind of have a look around the city in first person mode. You know, since we have a pretty balanced demand at the moment, I think we can speed this up a bit. I'm gonna add a tiny bit more residential to the area, hopefully speeding up the process a bit. Looks like while we're waiting, there is... Yeah, look at this. Okay, so we generated a new traffic prob... Oh, I see. I fiddled around with a few things yesterday, actually, in preparation for this episode, and I messed everything up here at this interchange. So let's see what's going wrong, actually. There is... A traffic light first of all, but the bigger problem I see, the cars are only using one lane. I'm gonna first try to remove the traffic light and see what that does. I know, I see why that made sense. However, why are they only using one lane? I mean, I did do some lane management here at the bottom of the forestry district, but I'm not sure why this would affect the cars all the way up to here. Yeah, they're only willing to use the most left lane, it just doesn't make sense. Let me go ahead and if possible, I would like to revert this back into a full-fledged highway. I can upgrade this. Okay, there's a little piece I can't upgrade. Uh, yeah, I can see why that's not gonna... No! What did I do? Oh man, I hate when this happens. You go back to being a tram track. Thank you. There we go. At least I managed to do it. Now this is all one highway again. It was a six-lane road before. Let's see if that changes anything. We're actually gonna need our traffic light back here, that was helping indeed. Ah, okay, I see. Oh man, this was driving me insane, guys. You have no idea how much time I spent off camera with this, but I do understand what's happening now. This is not the first vacuum truck just spending their time here and actually getting into the other traffic's way. For some reason, we seem to have a leakage here somewhere. I wonder if I could fix this maybe by bringing this over... I mean, it must be the canal structure, right? That's glitching this out. Okay, they're still using only one lane. I'm gonna attempt to upgrade more stuff into highways instead of the six-lane roads. So now all of this is three-lane highway. Let's see how that changes things. Now, of course, there's no more traffic light here. And I think in this case, I'm actually gonna intervene with lane management. Now, this is not convenient. 
Okay, at this point, I don't want the vehicles to change lanes. So they are just going into the lanes they are already going anyways. And then right here, I only want two lanes on the left to go into the left direction. And then in order to go straight, you have to take the right lane there. Let's see that happen. Another thing I would like to change is vehicles should already decide which lane they want to go to right here. So we're going to do even more lane management. Namely this node here. Yeah, I think that's the right one. Then control S in order to force them to stay on the same lane. And there we go. As you can see, it is now smooth again. At least until we have the next problem. Yeah, but it definitely worked in this instance. So I'm glad we took care of that. Jeez, it's just crazy how much you have to babysit these cities. But overall, I would say we have uh, tons of green going on. Look at that. It's just the industries and some of these choke points. I'm very happy with our traffic overall. Check this out. Some people were actually using the cable cars. There's nothing up here just yet. However, I noticed the cable car stops don't seem to require any other services than utilities. So we could technically place them inside of other parks. Okay, looks like we need another elementary school. Let's actually go with the community school and we're gonna attach it over there. Though, actually, we already have two schools. Why are these bastards always so greedy? We seem to have regular flooding going on and I'm not even sure how this came to be. Ah, 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 okay. Wait, wait, wait. This now totally makes sense. Let me see. I should have a water source. Maybe this one here. This could be the issue. Let me check that out. Oh no, it's too deep. I don't seem to be able to grab it. Ah, ah, there was something there. Come on! I was able to move it. That was not my intention. I wanted... No, what did I do? Okay, now I removed it completely. Let's actually see how that changes things. Yeah, of course. It's gonna be a slight problem just for a bit. Uh, oh man. This must have been causing me so many issues I didn't even realize. And now I just actually saw it happen. The road was being flooded inside of the tunnels for some reason. And that's what's causing this new traffic jam to happen again. Well, if possible, I... No! Did I just remove this again? I hit it! I decided to go down slightly with my water source. You can see how the water is going down. Of course, this is making the ferry stops a bit uglier. Then we had something similar going on here, but I would like to bring this down more and more. Ah, that's why I did the terraforming. So what we have to do is stick down first a bit in order to be able to grab this water source and bring it even further down. Just like that, we can unpause the game again. And of course, we want to fill up the hole we just made. You can actually cover up the water source this way. Uh-oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you can do it. Yes, take the wave. Oh no. <laughs> This must be the greatest ferry ride of all times. Okay, generally, I'm still waiting for my district to develop a bit. So I thought what we could do is take one of our tour buses. Now, let me see which one is the most exciting route we have. Ah, yes, I remember. We cannot see the routes. For some weird reason, it's glitching out. Probably because one of the mods, I would assume. So we're just going to take the one with the 16 stops. Let's go and check out one of the stops and find one of these tour buses. Ah, there we go. The sightseeing bus. Yes, we want to switch into first person camera mode and enjoy the ride. Ah, this is actually a beautiful start here with the Statue of Liberty and our city arc. So we are starting in the Olympus district. Uh, hold on, I want to pause the game. Is there a way for me to go into cinematic mode? Uh, I don't think so. Ah, it's fine enough. Let's maybe slow down a bit. Enjoy the ride. So here we are leaving the roundabout. We're going towards the university district. Of course, here we have all of our touristy stuff. Lots of people waiting at the tram station. Wow, check out some of these buildings are really huge. Over there we have our monorail bridge. I'm definitely still fond of that. That's connecting the Twin Peaks district. We have our solar plants and oh, we're actually going up the mountain here. I totally forgot about that. I didn't forget. I just didn't know which way they would actually choose. There we go. We are inside the tunnel and whoa! I was wondering what would happen with the first person mode there. Interesting view, but there we go. We're getting out of the tunnel and we have reached the top. Looks like there's a little traffic jam with the tour buses. We are crossing the monorail bridge. Ah, oh, great. Ah, oh, so great that the monorail just passed. And there is our Olympus touristy area. 
I actually like from this perspective that you can see the power plants on the right side. Yeah, so we're essentially visiting the unique buildings as well as... Whoa, get out of the way. I meant as well as the nature reserve. Good stuff. We're continuing here. I just see I plastered too many bushes here that actually cross into the road. Yeah, sometimes good to see stuff up close. There we go. We're going back to the bridge and it looks like this pillar from the monorail also didn't get placed correctly. Yeah, we might have to go through certain areas with a fine cum thome. <laughs> You know what I mean. With a fine comb thumb. With a thumb comb... Okay, I'm not getting it. We are continuing uh, down the tunnel. Okay, looks like there's actually nothing else happening here. It's a bit of a wasteful detour. Alrighty, back in the tunnel. As you can see, we're going down again and now we're continuing into the university district. There are so many tunnels in this mountain, you wouldn't believe me. Good stuff. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, I have to see this. What happened with this building? Oh my gosh, this is insane. Okay, this is actually the clinic. Can I just get this down a bit? That would be uh, phenomenal. There we go. Okay, much better, but it's still not the optimal placement. Oh, that car just got an upgrade. Anyways, back into the tour bus. Let's continue this. Here we go, there are some more of the solar plants. I've never looked at these buildings up close. They are nice. There's another tunnel and are we going up again? I don't think so. I think we're just, yeah, we're stopping here at the university main building and the stadium. Ah, this is actually so nice. I just can't imagine we actually did this all ourselves. There it is, the stadium, hopefully still making us money. I just see some of our services seem to have troubles, especially the garbage. There we go, exiting the tunnel into the Twin Peaks district. Here we have our office area. There should be some recycling centers on the other side there. Yes, actually there are a lot of people. We're gonna continue along the tram tracks and just stop occasionally. Hello guys, oh man. There must be the elder care center somewhere around here. <laughs> this is actually a really nice avenue here in the Twin Peaks district. I don't like how certain types of buildings are repeating. For instance, these two buildings. I think they should be next to each other if they are repeating this way. I guess we could destroy it and hope for another one. Oh my gosh, you guys are so lucky. This could be handled a bit more realistically in this game with people crossing the roads. There we go. We're now in the heart of the district with the main roundabout and we are exiting. What's happening with this taxi? Looks like a pizza. Ah, okay, we're actually taking a detour here. I forgot about that. I think we're going into the Old Town West at this point. Ah, I wish we also traveled to the amusement park over there. Anyways, on our merry way, this is still a highly densely populated area. And I'm not 100% sure where we are right now. Ah, there we go. Okay, there's the nature reserve, the Gappy Reserve. We're going to the left now into the Old Town West. Yeah, look at the nature reserve fencing there. There should be the entrance coming up anytime. Yeah, right here actually. And we're even stopping here, so people could go ahead and take a gander. We're going down to the Old Town West. Of course, part of the Old Town West is our old industry, the very first industry, and therefore it never got clean in environment as well as in spirit. We still have our recycling centers over there. Okay, we are continuing. I've never seen these types of buildings and I'm actually not 100% sure where we are at this point. Uh, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I know this. I know this. Okay, so this is the exit of the Old Town West and we're actually using it. That means we're going over into the Old Town. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I'm getting sick. Take a right. Take a right here. No, we're going somewhere else. Uh, woo! Okay, this ramp. Look at the car in front of me. <laughs> Almost got knocked over. Ah, okay, we're going to the festival. Could this be? Ah, there's a cinema. This is great. Uh, is this the festival place? No, there's the amusement park getting closer. Holy cow. There we go. That's great. We are in the old town driving down and we can see the amusement park we built in the two previous episodes on the other side. The blimps, of course, are educational, so they are helping us out with educating our people. I find this idea insane, especially for no additional cost. 
We are still in the womb district, but now I kind of lost overview because I've never seen how the tour actually got constructed. I only know approximately where we have our stops, but since I can't see the lines, it's insane. But there we go, we are exiting... Wait, wait... I oh, know, I'm such an idiot. This was just the old town. Why, why did I think of the womb district? I mean, we're not even close to the womb district. Got things messed up a bit, but this was the old town, the last part, and now we're back here in the roundabout. Ah, yes, we're taking the bridges. Ah, this is such a nice interchange. Did you see all those bridges? I love that. So this was the interchange we built in the second episode. And there we go, now we're actually entering the... what was the name? The Kindling District, of course. Yeah, there we go, Carousel. I'm so glad people are using this park. But come on, let's continue into the Kindling District. And I think we take a little detour here before we then actually turn back and finish the tour. Yeah, there we go. This is one of our roundabouts. Uh, you just saw the helicopter taking some water from our pools inside of the roundabout. Uh, ah, there we go. Okay, so this is the final destination. As of this point, we're just going back through the Kindling District and then we're turning up again at the Olympus District. Should I be concerned with all these uh, helicopters flying about? <laughs> I hope not. Yes, there we go. We are back on our way outside. We can actually see the radio tower antenna there. Then we are back on the highway, taking the bumpy thing. Ah, okay, we're actually taking the route through the forestry industry. And we can see this road is still going smoothly. And where are we here? Are these industry roads? Ah, okay, so we are now actually at the pumping service building at the end of my forestry industry. I just love the suspensions of the cars. I mean, they didn't have to simulate it, but it just makes it so much more funny. Here we go, guys. This is the beginning of our tour. Wow, it actually takes a long time to, to do this tour, I have to admit. I wouldn't want to be a tourist on this bus. All right, nice. I'm glad we did that. Alrighty, I think at this point I'm actually going to wrap up the episode. I'm gonna have to let this run for just a tad more before we continue expanding. Now, of course, we need to be careful with the airport and everything, but I want to take myself the time to actually develop this in the next episode. A lot of people have been asking me to do one of these tours every now and then, so that's uh, probably what we're gonna do. Of course, we're gonna take different tours around different areas, so I'm not gonna do this every episode now. So thematically, even though this episode is probably a shorter one, we're gonna wrap it up at this point, but I'm gonna make sure that I record another one as soon as possible so we can continue with this and you don't have to wait for too long. As per usual, let me know what you want to see in the future in this series, what other ideas you have. Let's have a look at the traffic. Okay, around 80%, that's fine, that means there are no significant jams. Let's maybe wait for a couple more weeks until we reach the 100k mark and that is going to be a very nice wrapping up point. Oh, and another thing before I forget to do that, we are going to need recycling centers. Now I would like to have a small side road just for that purpose. We're gonna have that close to our crazy intersection and then recycling center. There we go. You probably need a bawa. Okay, glad I also got that out of the way, but we did have some recycling issues. Anyways, come on, 100k people, do me the favor. Come on, 95, 94, come on! Yes, 100,000. Ah, what a great feeling. We've come a long way, 42 episodes, but I feel like I'm just about a third into the series. Well, it all depends on you. If at some point you don't want to see this anymore, there's no use for me to produce it. But with that out of the way, thank you so much for watching, have a great time, and see you soon. Bye-bye.